so good morning students today we will going to learn about human beings and their needs human beings who are human beings we are human beings you are human being your father mother your family grandfather grandmother friends we all are human beings and we will discuss about needs so what is the primary need of a human being it is food shelter and clothes so what are the basic needs of a human being it is food shelter and clothes now uh, we will understand them one by one okay so what is a food food is something that provides energy to live okay so so why do we need energy we need energy for activity for growth and for the all the functions of our body such as breathing digestion of a food and it keeps uh, warm body warm so so we need food because it builds our immune system why, why this immune system is required to uh, it is required for proper growth and development of a body immune system is required because it because immune system immunity of a body it fights against different viruses different flus and different bacteria so so uh, so we require food to live on the earth okay so all the living be all the living beings which are there on the earth they need food to eat okay so this is what the food is now the second thing is shelter what is a shelter now who will tell me what is a shelter shelter is shelter protects living things from danger and weather so what is a shelter for us shelter is our home so all the living beings be it a human being or animal we all require a shelter okay so all living things need shelter to survive most living things live in a shelters with their families so shelter protects living things living beings from danger and the weather and uh, shelter also keeps living things at the ideal temperature okay so most people live in the man made structures this could be a simple hut or long cabin apartment a villa or a skyscraper or a igloo or a caravan so we will leave, we will read shelter in detail in uh, in uh, for the slides okay clothes we all know what is a clothes clothes is required because it covers our body and it, we, it also saves our body from the temperature variation like heat cold uh, and it also saves us from the mosquito bites okay so these are the three basic needs of a human being food shelter and clothes okay so now we will go to we will read one by one so this is our food okay so we will read food and retail so why food is required so food is required so that why why do we need food a food is something that provides nutrients nutrients are the substance that provides energy for activity growth and all functions of a body okay so we need energy to live we need energy to work so this this energy we get get it from food so food could be two types healthy food or unhealthy food okay so we will discuss here all about healthy food okay so fruits vegetables cereals and animal food so these are considered to be a healthy diet okay so let's understand them one by one so what is a fruit fruits are mangoes apple grapes bananas papaya pomegranate pineapple strawberry guava oranges these are the most commonly available fruits for us okay so wh what they give us give us so fruit give us vitamins and minerals okay they also give us antioxidants and they improve our immune, immune system of our body so that is why we require fruits to eat because they build our immunity system okay so the so we sh we all should have one or two fruits in a day okay so so you can ask your mom to give you one or two fruits at least in a day so that it will make your body healthy and you are it will improve your immunity immunity of a body 
okay so let's go to the next slide vegetables so what what are the, what are different vegetables are available i have shown few but we know that there are so many vegetables tomato potato onion carrot your uh, all green leaves vegetables brinjal is there lady finger is there cauliflower is there uh, capsicum is there so there are so many vegetables so what is the function of a vegetable they give us carbohydrates proteins and fibers which are required for proper development and growth of our body so you should you should make sure that the two times meal in a day the lunch and dinner you should always have one vegetable each one or more vegetables at least one vegetable is required okay because they give us carbohydrate proteins and fibers okay so we will have vegetables in our diet okay cereals so cereals are good source of energy they are rich in fibers so they give us fibers to the body they are rich in vitamins minerals and proteins so we eat, so we we eat chapatis we eat rice so from where we get it we get it from cereals so all the lentils they give us protein so all these all these vegetables vegetables fruits cereals lentils they give us energy they give us vitamins minerals antioxidants proteins so all these things are these all are nutrients which are required by our body for a proper development and growth okay next comes the animal food what is the animal food the food which we get from animals are called animal food so milk is also an animal food because we are getting it from cow goat okay so this is called as animal food animal products are rich in vitamins and proteins milk is a complete food why it is called as complete food because it almost contains all the vitamins that we need and is that we need it for a body it also contains calcium and phosphorus it is rich in protein and it contains carbohydrates and fats so that is why milk is called as a complete food so we sh we are so make sure that you always have one glass of milk in the morning and one in the evening okay because it it gives us vitamins essential minerals like calcium phosphorus it is rich in protein and contains carbohydrate and fats so uh, so you will get everything in one diet okay so the, because of this milk is called as a complete food okay next is a egg so egg so egg has two parts white part and the yellow part the white of an egg contains vitamin b okay the yellow part is called as yolk it contains vitamin a and vitamin b and calcium phosphorus and iron so that is why it is also suggested that you should have egg also if you are non vegetarian you can have eggs in your breakfast diet because it is very good in vitamin a b calcium phosphorus and iron meat meat is a very good source of high quality proteins it also contains vitamins vitamins what are the different vitamins a b and d are available it contains iron zinc phosphorus okay so so because of this it is a very good it is it contains high proteins seafood is also a good source of all these nutrients and iodine okay so a uh, fish crab so all these uh, seafood is also good good in protein and they are rich in nutrients okay so non vegetarians for non vegetarians like it is very good if they eat non veg they eat fish they eat egg and milk milk is a veg, veg thing so everyone can have the milk next comes the houses shelter we have already discussed so why do we need shelters houses shelter because it protects living thing living beings from danger and weather shelter also keeps living things at the ideal temperature all the living things need shelter to survive and with 
most animals live in natural structures and uh, all human beings they live in man made structure like hut they can live in villas they can live in bungalows they can live in apartments or they can live in skyscrapers okay so these are our houses so shelter our houses house protect us from heat rain cold thieves and wild animals there are two types of houses permanent house and temporary house so permanent houses are igloos wooden houses huts or they are, they are also called as pakka houses pakka houses are also permanent houses so igloos it is made up of, of ice igloos are found in extremely cold region okay so uh, like antarctica uh, so in north pole so there there the temperature is extremely high, extremely low so igloos are found in extremely cold region okay wooden houses are also find uh, also you will find in cold region because they keep house cool in summer and warm in winter so this is why wood is used to make wooden houses huts 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 are also permanent houses these houses are built in villages they are made up of mud wall and straw roof which keeps uh, keeps house cool in summer okay this is a this is called as kachcha house also so you might have uh, read that there are two types of houses kachcha house and pakka house so pakka houses are all your skyscrapers apartments villas uh, bungalows so they are you they are the pakka houses kachcha houses is like uh, they are made up of mud or mud or straw roof or grass so these are these are the type of kachcha houses so next read this the temporary houses temporary as the name suggested that it, this is for a time duration it's not a permanent house so for a time being you have built some house is called as temp temporary house so temporary house what are different kinds of temporary houses are available so these are tents tents are used for holiday camping okay soldiers who move from one place to another so they make temporary houses to live like for a night or for two three nights if they want to stay at one place they will build tents okay so tents are used for holiday camping or the soldiers who move from one place to another caravan caravan it is also called as house on wheels okay so you can attach these caravans to your to your vehicle your car or your truck and you can go you can bring this caravan wherever you want to go okay so caravan may be pulled by an animal or by car or a truck people move from one place to another and live in caravans so so caravans they they are also called as house on wheels they it can be pulled by an animal or by car or a truck people move from one place to another place and live in caravans so you can say, see this in picture there the this uh, car has hold this it is being pulled by this car and here if you can see that it is a small room kind of structure where uh, you can uh, two or three person they can uh, sleep also during night and they can, this is also called as temporary house okay it's a temporary arrangement people they can keep uh, food also if they can prepare food also here and they can have food and during night time and they can enjoy okay so this is very common in foreign countries so caravan is called as house on wheels okay now comes the house boats house boats are floating house on water bodies like lake they are they vary in size some are very small and some are very big okay so in the picture you are seeing only single story uh, house boat but when you go to kashmir you will kashmir or some big lakes uh, or the places where big lakes are there you will find them two two stories three stories house boats also so people use it for vacation purpose okay so these are temporary houses okay i hope uh, it is clear to all of us okay so let's move to next slide so clothes all we so the last uh, important need of a human being is clothes so why do we need clothes clothes because they cover our body 
and they protect us from heat cold mosquito bites or all other insects okay so cloth are protects us from heat cold rain and wind okay so clothes all we know that we we wear different clothes in summer season we 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 wear different different type of clothes in winter season and different in rainy season so we will understand them one by one okay in summer season because it is a hot season so we use cotton clothes like t-shirts you skirts near uh, uh, shorts you wear cap also to protect yourself from heat from sunlight so these are the clothes which we wear in summer seasons okay so we don't uh, we don't wear sweaters or we, we don't wear synthetic clothes during summer because they, they, they those clothes produce heat and they, because it summer season is already hot season so we, so we don't want more heat so we we want we wear only cotton clothes in summer seasons okay next is the winter season so winter season we all know that because there is so much cold out there so we want to wear clothes which can produce heat which can heat our body so what are the clothes which heat our body is woolen clothes okay woolen clothes thick jackets jeans shawls they can cover like with shawl we can cover our body mufflers we can put monkey caps also to cover our head and our ears so we want to protect ourselves from outside cold so we use woolen clothes here so you can see this is a sweater so in winter winters we wear woolen clothes as it keeps us warm like sweaters jackets sweaters mufflers you know, boots you know, hand gloves to protect hands from the cold so all these things are things we wear during winter season rainy seasons all kids love rainy season isn't it so rainy season in rainy seasons we use umbrellas we use boots we use rain coats to protect our, ourselves from water okay so what are the things which we use in the rainy season we use umbrella we use rain coats we use we use plastic boots to cover to protect us from the rain okay so this was all about clothes so i hope i, I was clear okay so you can so 